decided that I was interested in medicine when I began working at age 17 as a uh, orderly at Underwood uh, Hospital, which is now in Spear Woodbury. And uh, I was exposed to a lot of the physicians at the time, and I thought, boy, I, I could do this. I want to be like them. In internal medicine, you're exposed to all the subspecialties, cardiology, pulmonary medicine, endocrinology, rheumatology, and I liked them all. I couldn't decide which one I wanted to do, so I thought, well, you know, internal medicine allows me the ability to really um, practice or be exposed to a multitude of, of medical problems across all the subspecialties. I've been in practice for over 35 years. I uh, am boarded in internal medicine, also geriatric medicine and uh, hospice and palliative care medicine. In the area of hospice medicine, uh, we're not only treating or helping the patient, we're helping the family. Uh, most people don't have experience with a, a loved one who is terminally ill. Uh, it's a vital, vital service with the family. So I try to get them involved from the beginning. You know, care doesn't stop when the patient's terminally ill. Uh, we have to continue and to make the uh, entire experience uh, comfortable. I've been in practice for a long time and most of my patients have been with me for 25, 30 years. When I come to work, it's almost like I'm uh, joining my other family. Uh, these people, I, I, know, I know so much about them, not just their medical problems, but their jobs, their family, their hobbies. Um, uh, I actually see patients who I grew up with or grew up in the same hometown with me. Um, so I feel a tremendous affinity for this area. Uh, these are the people that I've grown up with and I've known for years. And uh, I'm inspired by the fact that I think a day doesn't go by that I don't make a difference in somebody's life in a positive way.